Florida's primary elections underway today, how the start of the election went this morning and where you can keep up with all the latest updates throughout the day. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bridget Ellison. Justin Wormuth is on assignment. We do begin with results 2024 and that primary election. The polls are now open. Some of the key races voters are deciding on depending on their party affiliation, U.S. Senate, some congressional races, as well as state and local. Here's News 6's Mark Lehman with a breakdown. While today is primary day, there are also nonpartisan races like three commission seats up for grabs here in Orange County. Things have been busy at precincts across central Florida as votes are coming in. When voters head off to the polls, there are a lot of primary races that could come down to the final votes. In Osceola County, Sheriff Marcos Lopez could get ousted from his position. He's received scrutiny following use of force cases over the last few years and is facing a Democratic primary with four challengers. In the Florida legislature, a fight has been brewing over the District 15 state Senate seat between incumbent Geraldine Thompson and former state Senator Randolph Bracey. In almost a quarter of a century, she's passed one bill. She has no appropriations to speak of. In the last session, I got $250,000 appropriated. The U.S. House District 8 seat is up for grabs after Congressman Bill Posey announced his retirement. Three Republicans are running in the conservative district along the Atlantic coast. The only statewide race is for U.S. Senate. Four Democrats are looking to challenge Rick Scott. He's also facing two primary challengers, but is expected to easily make the November ballot. Election officials, meanwhile, are focused on transparency, like in Orange County, where cameras are being used for the ballot process. As we get ready to go into November, my goal is to have tens of thousands of people logged onto the live stream so that way they can see this democracy unfold real time. When it comes to the commission seats in Orange County, those would go to a runoff if one candidate doesn't get more than 50% of the vote. Polls are open until 7 this evening. In Orange County, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6. Thank you, Mark. For a guide to voting, you can head to clickorlando.com slash results 2024. And there you can find all of our stories about local elections, who's running, and everything on your county's ballots. Plus, we have coverage coming up on News 6 starting at 4 p.m. and on clickorlando.com. Then tonight at 7, tune in to watch our full results coverage as the elections end and we talk to the winners.